She was trying to find me. She's like, I'm hoping he's trying to find me. I'm thinking myself, you know. Four months of training, not going to be so awesome anymore. Yeah. Hold down. 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 Do you want to say anything? No. Nothing at all? No, 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 this, no, no it's not. <laughs> it's about the kids it's, and, and, you know, all the other representatives. Too. Yeah. Hey guys, how you doing? Good. Good. Uh, so I'm gonna get close to some of you may not see me, but hopefully you'll at least be able to hear me. Uh, so we're gonna tell you a little bit about why you're here, besides getting you know a few minutes out of class, which is always nice. Um, Christopher Knowles, who I'll introduce in a minute, uh, as Miss as Miss Love was mentioning, was here four years ago, and he was here walking across Canada for a very important cause. Anybody remember what it was? Organ donation awareness, excellent, good memories. Um, and he's back again because as much as the good work that he's done has made a difference, it hasn't fixed the problem. Uh, his trip is called SOS 4000 because there are still 4,000 Canadians right now waiting for organ and tissue transplants across Canada. And the statistics tell us that 100 to 150 of them die every year because there aren't enough organs to go around and there aren't enough organ donors to go around. And so Christopher has once again embarked on a cross Canada trek to raise awareness about the need for organ and tissue donation. Um, Christopher, uh, last time he was here, was uh, badly in need of a transplant. He's fortunate to be doing better, and I'll let him tell you a little bit about him and, and what, how he's doing now. Um, I had my connection to the story is five years ago, I had a heart and double lung transplant. Uh, had it not been for someone that I have never met, I wouldn't be alive today being able to run this run from, from here over to City Hall, which I'm very excited to do. So it's very important that you understand the need for organ and tissue donation, and secondly, that you know what you need to do about it. And that is, you need to sign an organ donor card, but more importantly than that, you need to have a conversation with your family and friends, especially your family. Because an organ donor card is great, but if it's in your wallet and nobody knows about it, then generally speaking, action isn't taken. Your family, or your next of kin is the legal term, are the people who make a final decision. So God forbid something should happen to you, and you're a potential organ donor, your family has to give their consent 
in order for you to give your organs. And so having that conversation is incredibly important. One person can save or improve the lives of 40 other people through organ and tissue donation. So we talk a lot sometimes about wanting to make a difference in the world. That's one way that one person can make an incredible difference because uh, people like myself wouldn't be here today without people like that. So I'm not going to take up any more of your time. I'm going to come up and tell you a little bit about his story, about his trip, and then uh, you're going to hear from one of your very owners participating in this event as well. So Chris, 